Hi, Katie here with your Galco TV industry update. This week, we're talking about retouching photos with machine learning, GE and China's new 12-year agreement, and MIT is giving robots a sense of touch. Google and MIT have teamed up to take computational photography to the next level, helping you squeeze even more performance out of your phone's camera's hardware through the use of machines learning algorithms to retouch your photos like a professional photographer in real time. The researchers train neural networks using a data set of 5,000 images created by Adobe and MIT. Each image included in this collection was retouched by five different photographers and this data was used to teach the algorithm how photos are typically edited. This is not the first application of machine learning to improve photos, though the real breakthrough here is getting these algorithms quick and efficient enough to run on a user's device without any perceivable lag. The software itself is no larger than a single digital file and can be equipped to process images in a range of styles. With enough data and practice, it may even be able to someday mimic an individual photographer's style. This technology is not currently publicly available, though it may not be too much longer until you can take even more impressive photos with your mobile devices. GE has signed a 12-year agreement to help boost reliability and profitability across multiple nuclear power plants in China. This includes services to the steam turbines, generators, and auxiliary systems at three different plants. GE will help generate reliable, sustainable energy to power the province. This is nothing new for these two organizations. However, GE and the Day of Bay Nuclear Power Operations and Management Company have collaborated for over 30 years. In that time, GE has expanded its total plant solutions portfolio, including its Fleet 360 services platform, and has added significant new technology capabilities for nuclear power plants. The Day of Bay Nuclear Power Base was the first nuclear power plant built in China and has operated in a safe and stable manner for more than 22 years. In 2016 alone, the base supplied nearly 45 billion kilowatt hours of electricity to the grid, which can power the equivalent of 12 million homes. Further services that GE will provide to the plant include supplying spare parts, engineering support, on-site service, repair, and life extension for the steam turbines present at the nuclear power base. Compared to coal-fired power plants of the same scale, the six nuclear power units in the facility produce power that displaces the use of 14.57 million tons of coal, 35.9 million tons of carbon monoxide emissions, 340,000 tons of sulfur oxide emissions, and 220,000 tons of nitrogen oxide emissions. GE's help will further reduce operating costs per unit kilowatt hour, save fuel costs, ensure sustained operating performance, and drive long-term stability and profitability. And MIT has developed a method to give robots a sense of touch, allowing them to gauge the hardness of objects and manipulate small tools. Their computer science and artificial intelligence laboratory's gel site sensor is able to provide a detailed 3D map of an object's surface during physical contact when placed onto a robotic gripping arm. Two teams within MIT have used the gel site sensors for two different functions. One team has been reaching the hardness detection and the other has been using the sensors to help the arm manipulate smaller tools than it was previously able to. The gel site sensor itself is a low tech solution than one might expect. It is composed of a block of transparent rubber and a metallic paint coated face. When that paint-coated face is pressed against an object, it is able to conform to the shape of the object. 
The metallic paint makes the object surface reflect, making its geometry much easier for the computer vision algorithms to interpret. On the opposite side of the paint coated face are three colored lights accompanied by a camera. The lights shine on the reflective material, and this process helps the computer determine the 3D shape of the object it is analyzing. There are many benefits to having a robot determine how hard or soft an object is. It can help the robot determine not only where and how hard to grasp an object, but also how the object will behave when moved, stacked, or laid onto different surfaces. Tactile sensing can also aid robots in distinguishing similar looking objects from one another. Further tests involving gel sight and the proper algorithms have allowed researchers and their robot to grasp a small screwdriver, remove it from a holster, and then return it. They found that as long as the vision system estimate of the screwdriver's initial estimate was accurate to within a few centimeters, the algorithms could deduce which part of the screwdriver the sensor was touching and thus determine the position of the screwdriver in the robot's hand. Well, that is it for this week's industry update. Make sure you tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.